there is, you know, very strong and decisive support uh, for a constitutional amendment enshrining abortion uh, access into the state constitution. Even some voters who might uh, approve of restrict restrictions to some degree uh, do not approve of these very strong, um, almost full on bans. It is politically toxic. I don't think it's a messaging problem. It's a policy problem for Republicans. We've had enough elections in enough different types of states that are focused on abortion and Republicans are not winning them. <laughs> in Kentucky, you know, you had this issue of uh, transgender athletes and uh, scholastic sports. But um, it does seem perhaps like that issue has has run its course a bit, um, particularly among uh, suburban voters. Um, on the student loan thing, there does seem to be some anger uh, from uh, progressives. We have the potential in Arizona to see how an independent candidate with very strong name ID and the power of incumbency potentially running as an independent could affect that race. Younger Gen Z and millennial voters for an alternative other than Biden and Trump. Biden needs to uh, invoke more confidence in his leadership abilities. There are voters who are willing, I think, to overlook the corruption or allegations of corruption in Trump if they think it is in their economic interest. I think so far Biden really seems to have tried to uh, be kind of taking the higher road and to avoid commenting on, you know, some of the various charges that Trump is facing and things like that. If he doesn't start to see some sort of organic bump in his personal polling numbers, he may feel more pressure to more specifically attack Trump.